In this video, we talk about voice VLAN. Let's get started with the very basic concept, IP telephony. This diagram shows you a typical IP telephony network. The term IP telephony refers to the branch of networking in which the telephones send and receive voice messages encapsulated in IP packets. The phones connect to the network using either UTP Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. It communicates over the IP network with software that replaces the call setup and other functions of the traditional PPX to initiate a call. From the IP telephony network concept, we can easily figure out that phone and computer can be in the same VLAN. However, to ensure highest priority for voice traffic, traditional IP telephony network creates a VLAN for voice traffic and another VLAN for data traffic. These VLANs are completely separated, which requires the following. Two switch ports and two Ethernet outlets at user desk, one for phone and the other for computer. And it also requires to redo all cable links for any offices that has only one Ethernet outlet at user desk. Let's analyze this modern IP telephony network to see how it solves the problems. The modern IP telephony network still requires creating two VLANs, one for voice and the other for data. However, the voice VLAN becomes special when it is associated with voice traffic, which makes the voice traffic flow over any access ports of any data VLANs. Therefore, it only requires one switch port for both voice and data traffic, but these traffic are in different VLANs. And one Ethernet outlet is required at user's desk, but the phone has an additional Ethernet port to connect to the computer. Here is how it works. When voice frames travel via an asset port out of the Cisco switch, it will be tasked with an 802.1Q header. When the voice frames travel via an asset port into a Cisco switch, the 802.1Q header will be removed. The data frames will be processed as normal. To configure this network, we must perform the following steps. Create a VLAN for data traffic. Create a VLAN for voice traffic. Assign switch ports to data VLAN. Associate the switch ports to voice VLAN. In this practice, we will configure VLAN 10 and name it data VLAN and then configure VLAN 20 and name it voice. Let's do it in Cisco skills switch one. We are at the configuration mode. Let's enter the command VLAN 10, hit enter and name it data, then hit enter. Then we X out this and issue the command VLAN 20 and name it voice. That's it. We have just configured the two VLANs, VLAN 10 for data and VLAN 20 for voice. Please remember that we name it voice doesn't mean it is the voice VLAN. Let's associate voice VLAN on an access port at the switch configuration mode. We issue the command interface, then we specify the name of the interface, then hit enter. It will bring us into the interface configuration mode. We issue the command switch port mode access, then hit enter. This command will set the port at the access port. Now let's issue the command switch port access VLAN 10, then hit enter. 
this command will assign the port to VLAN 10, which is the data VLAN. Now, to associate the voice VLAN to this port, we issue the command switch port voice VLAN 20, then hit enter. This command will associate the voice traffic to VLAN 20. Let's do it in Cisco skill switch 1. We are at the privilege mode. Let's issue the command show VLAN. As you can see, the port E00 currently belong to VLAN 1, which is the default VLAN. And we see that the VLAN 10 and 20 for data invoice have been created. Let's go to the configuration mode and issue the command interface E00. And then we issue the command switch port mode access to set the port as the access port. Then we issue the command switch port access VLAN 10 to assign the port to VLAN 10, which is the data VLAN. Let's issue the command switch port voice VLAN 20. Then hit enter. This command will associate the voice traffic to VLAN 20. Now let's exit out of this and issue the command show VLAN. As you can see, the port E00 now belong to both the data and voice VLANs. Let's now move on to the smart switch under the phone. As you can see, the phone is connected to the switch and the computer is connected to the phone. Let's turn the phone upside down. We're going to see something similar like this. You can easily figure out that this port is connected to the switch and this port is connected to the computer. Actually, there's a hidden port that is connected to the phone. We call this the smart switch. You can perform a certain configuration for the smart switch using the phone, such as assign the phone to the voice VLAN. To make it easier to understand, let's include the smart switch into the diagram like this. The reason it is a smart switch because it can handle both data and voice frames with minimal configuration. It does any frames from the phone with 802.1Q header to include the voice VLAN information and it lets all frames from the computer go without touching. When a voice frame comes with 802.1Q task, it will read the task for the VLAN information, then remove the task and deliver the frame to the phone. When a data frame comes without a task, it will deliver the frame to the computer. Let's analyze the frame forwarding process in this network diagram. Let's assume the MAC address table of all the switches are fully populated. First of all, we will look into the case when PC1 forwards a frame to PC2. So the frames first created in PC1 and it is forwarded to the smart switch one. The smart switch one understands the frame belongs to the data VLAN, so it forwards the frames to the port E00 of the main switch. When the main switch receives the frame, it reads the content of the frame and knows the frame belongs to VLAN 10 and its destination is PC2. The main switch checks with its MAC address table and then forwards the frame to the smart switch 2 via the port E01. The smart switch 2 sees the frame comes without attack, so it forwards the frame to PC2, which completes the process in this case. Now let's look into the case when phone 1 forwards a frame to phone 2. Please note that we have already configured on the phones that they belong to VLAN 20. So in this case, the frame is created in phone 1 and is forwarded to the smart switch 1. The smart switch 1 sees the frame comes from the voice VLAN 20, so it tags the frame with an 802.1Q header. 
before forwarding it to the port E00 of the main switch. When the main switch receives the frame, it finds the 802.1Q tag. It knows that the frame belongs to VLAN 20. It then removes the tag. The main switch then finds the destination is phone 2. It checks with its MAC address table and then tags the frame with an 802.1Q header before forwarding it to the Smart Switch 2 via the port E01. The Smart Switch 2 sees the frames comes with 802.1Q tag. It removes the tag and forwards the frame to phone 2 which completes the process in this case.